What's up everyone, Tavius here, and today it's time to talk about Blade Barrage. Hunters really got the best deal with Solar 3.0 in my opinion, and today we're going over a super fun Blade Barrage build to regenerate supers as fast as possible. As always, first we'll go over aspects and fragments, next we'll go over the armor and armor mods I'll be using, and last, some of the weapon recommendations to get our Blade Barrage back in no time. So our Blade Barrage Super has a base cooldown of 7 minutes 35 seconds, almost 2 minutes faster than Golden Gun, and we're only gonna go down from here. I'm going with a new Acrobat's Dodge to make myself and teammates Radiant when performing this pretty sweet acrobatic dodge. Radiant is one of the new verbs introduced with Solar 3.0. Your weapons are enhanced by the power of the Traveler and deal increased damage. Notice that it specifies weapons. I tested doing my acrobatic dodge and blade barrage after hoping to see a buff in damage and nope, it did not work. Definitely good for rockets though. For my melee, I'm using the knife trick for three reasons because my aim is pretty bad with throwing knives. Also, this melee also has the fastest base cooldown from all four at 1 minute 22 seconds and you can still scorch and ignite several enemies with one melee. So this is it for me. Grenade doesn't really matter, I like to switch between Solar Grenade, Fusion, even Thermite Grenade. Thermite Grenade can apply Scorch to a lot of enemies if they all happen to be lined up perfectly for the Burning Line of Fire to catch them. Keep in mind that there's a Seasonal Artifact mod that lets you stun Overload Champions with Solar Grenades, so we'll get there in a minute. Okay, so for the aspects, we're going with On Your Mark. And first, look at this, 3 Fragment slots with this aspect, just beautiful. What does it do? Precision final blows grant you and nearby allies increased weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration. Stacks 3 times. Activating your class ability, our acrobatic dodge, immediately grants maximum stacks of on your mark. So right after a dodge, we get greatly increased handling and reload speed. This is great because the dodge makes us radiant, which means extra damage for weapons. Weapons that we can reload faster with this aspect. And for the second aspect, knock him down. Your solar supers are in hands. In this case, for Blade Barrage, it launches more projectiles and also, don't ignore this part at the bottom. While Radiant final blows with your equipped throwing knife melee, fully refund your melee energy. And this part only gets better with our fragments. The Ember of Torches. Power melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. So activating our throwing knives makes us radiant and the knock him down aspect fully refunds your melee energy with a kill. You must get a kill though to get your melee back. Next aspect is the Ember of Tempering. Solar weapon final blows grant you and your allies increased recovery for a short duration, stacks 3 times. While the fragment is active, your weapons gain increased airborne effectiveness. This isn't too helpful for me, but some of you might take advantage of weapon airborne effectiveness. What I like is the increased recovery for solar weapon kills. Anything that can help us stay alive is good here. The Ember of Sinjin. Your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. We will scorch targets with our grenade and our throwing knives, so this will help get our acrobatic dodge back faster. The fourth fragment is the Ember of Solace. Radiant and Restoration effects applied have increased duration. The duration of Radiant is 10 seconds, but with this fragment it goes up to 15 seconds. And for the last fragment, I have the Ember of Combustion. Final blows with Blade Barrage cause targets to ignite. This one's helpful in the new containment activity with tons of ads being thrown at you. All enemies who die to Blade Barrage explode, damaging all their enemies. If you want to use your Blade Barrage for boss damage, you can use the Ember of Beams instead. This one shrinks the spread of the blades into one target, if that's what you want. Alright, so now that we got the aspects and fragments covered, let's talk about the armor mods. On my helmet, I have a Kinetic Siphon to create orbs of power with kinetic weapon kills, a Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, and Well of Ordnance. Picking up Solar Elemental Wells grants you additional grenade energy. Solar Elemental Wells already give energy to all my abilities, and this mod gives extra energy to my grenade. Let's talk about Shards of Galanor, our exotic arms introduced with the Forsaken expansion. It's in the random exotic drop loot pool, and also can be purchased from Xur on rotation if you don't have it. Pretty straightforward exotic. Hits and kills with Blade Barrage will return super energy after super ends. Almost 100% of the time you get the maximum amount of super back, which is half your super bar. So all we gotta do is work on filling up the second half. The mods I've equipped are Fastball, an anti-barrier mod for Pulse Rifle, 
and elemental ordnance. Grenade kills spawn a solar elemental well. Now for my chest I've got Armor of the Dying Star from the Seasonal Artifact to reduce incoming solar and void damage. Then Fusion Rifle Reserves and a melee well maker. So we already know that kills with our throwing knife grants us Radiant and gives us our throwing knife back. And with this mod we'll also create a solar ornamental well to replenish the other abilities. Moving on to the legs, I've got Absolution, which reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up a normal power. Picking up solar elemental wells already refilled our abilities, and now also orbs of power do it. We also have orbs of restoration, which gives a small amount of energy to your ability with the least energy by picking up a normal power. Now we have to understand that Absolution reduces the cooldowns, which means time. Reduces the time it takes for you to get your ability back and Orbs of Restoration actually grants a small amount of energy directly to the one ability. The last mod on the legs is Elemental Light, to generate solar elemental wells with super kills. Time for the class item. On my class item, I have two mods from the Seasonal Artifact, only for Season of the Haunted. Withering Heat, causing damage with solar abilities weakens champions for a short duration. And Molten Overload. Solar Grenades Stun Overload Champions. These mods are a must, in my opinion, to melt those champions in no time. Alright, before we go into weapons, I'm going to go over my stats, which are pretty much exclusively focused on super energy. At tier 9, we have a super cooldown of 5 minutes 53 seconds. And if you count half the super you get back with Shards of Galanor, we're talking 2 minutes 25 seconds to get your super, or way faster with all the other stuff we're doing here. So for the weapons, I'm using the all-reliable Bad Juju. Remember this weapon? I haven't used it since the perk Thresh was introduced to a bunch of weapons. Now any weapon can generate super energy with Thresh, but none like Bad Juju. Plus, all kinetic primary exotic weapons and pulse rifles recently got a buff in damage. Bad Juju has a lot of good perks other weapons with Thresh don't have. It has full auto trigger system, just hold down the trigger, hit fire grip, it's way more accurate while hip firing. Also, kills refill the magazine, no reloading, and increase damage with kills. The amount of super energy you get with kills is based on the strength of the string of curses trait. When you get string of curses times 5 with 5 rapid kills and you continue to get kills, you get so much super energy per kill, almost like picking up orbs of power. Of course, this works better with low level enemies in regular Vanguard operations and patrols. Also, the catalyst for Bad Juju extends the duration of String of Curses, so you have a few more seconds to get a kill and not lose your stacks. But just give it a try if you haven't used it in a while, trust me. Now for my energy weapon, I'm going with the Fusion Rifle, the Cartesian Coordinate. I've had this weapon for a while, it's a rapid fire frame with Feeding Frenzy for super fast reloads, and here it is, Thresh, the trade that almost killed Bad Juju. Kills generate a small amount of super energy. Another good weapon for this slot could be a well-rolled retrace path since it's solar, or one of the new weapons with the incandescent perk. Those are really good. Even a glaive with the unstoppable glaive mod for champions could be great here. Moving on to the heavy weapon, I'm going with the Ascendancy Rocket Launcher with Ambitious Assassin and Explosive Light with the boss spec to deal extra damage to bosses. Anything you feel comfortable with here depending on if you want it mostly for boss damage or to clear ads fast. Linear fusions for long range, grenade launcher, maybe not a sword unless you want to get stomped on, but hey, maybe you do. Okay, so with this Blade Barrage Hunter build, we're going to have supers up in no time. Our exotic arms will refund up to half of our super bar by getting hits and kills with Blade Barrage. The second half we're going to fill up with orbs of power we'll generate with Bad Juju and the Kinetic Siphon mod. Bad Juju alone with String of Curses grants us so much super energy and it will get a damage boost when we become radiant with our Acrobat's Dodge and by activating our Knife Trick melee ability with the Ember of Torches. All abilities recharge faster with the Solar Elemental Wells we'll create, but also class ability gets a boost just by scorching enemies with the Ember of Singeing. The Knock Him Down aspect enhances our Blade Barrage, which will cause targets to ignite with the Ember of Combustion and also refunds are throwing knife melee if you get a kill with it. And there you have it my friends. Between Blade Barrage and Knife Trick melee we'll be throwing knives in all directions. Blade Barrage was not being used at all for a while and it's nice to have it back and so much fun. 
If you find this informative, a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button really helps push the video to other Destiny players like yourself. If you have any suggestions on how to make this better or a different exotic weapon to use, drop it in the comments down below and let me know. Also, I recently started a Discord community if you'd like to contact me and other chill Destiny 2 players. My name is Tavius Place, I thank you for your viewership and if you want to watch other Destiny 2 videos you can click here.